Welcome to how to set up TP-Link Wi-Fi 6 router. This is the device used in this case. Wi-Fi 6 router. Wireless password 233-99983. This is the default wireless password. SSID, there are two SSIDs. There are two wireless names because it has two different bands. This is the default wireless network of this device. I use a phone to configure this device. On the phone shows two wireless networks, like printed on TP-Link. Select any network. Both wireless networks have the same password. 233-99983 Phone is getting IP address. Connected, I see more information. Router 192.168.0.1 This is the IP address of your TP-Link. Remember it to log in to your device. There is another way to log in that is using the local domain name. You can see here, tplinkwifi.net. You use this local domain name in case the IP address is not found. I still prefer using IP addresses. Open a browser on your phone, Google Chrome. Enter the IP address you just found. 192.168.0.1 It asks you to create a new login password. Password must be at least six characters, including letters and numbers. One, two, three, four, small, a big A. A simple password that still meets the requirements. Select time zone. You try to choose the correct time zone. Why choose the right time zone? Suppose you set up an internet lock for a device, then the device must be in the correct time zone to be used. There are some other advanced settings that require the correct time zone, so you should set the correct time zone. I haven't plugged in the cable yet, so it gives me this warning. Skip. You set up your own new wireless network. Do not use the default wireless network. Because if someone just looks at the password printed on the device, what security is there anymore? The wireless network name is TP-Link. Password 12345 Next. Not now. It suggests a software update, which I'll do later. There is no internet to update. Here is the information I have set up for this device. Wireless network name and password. Even though it has two bands, it has only one name and uses the same password. This is the smart wireless mode of this device. You will lose connection to it because the name has changed. The Wi-Fi icon is gone, lost connection to it. I connect to a new network New name, new password. Password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Connect. Connection, successful. The connection was successful, so I can continue to log in to the device and configure it. Ignore this warning, because I haven't plugged in the cable yet. It asks to log in again. You enter the password set earlier to log in. One, two, three, four, small, a big A. Log in.
It says no internet connection. I plugged in the network cable to it. I connect it to my ISP's router. Plug it into the blue port, and the yellow port is for connecting to the computer. There is an internet light on the device. When this light turns green, it is OK. Turn green. The warning is gone on my phone, too. I check the internet. YouTube. Find my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Connected to the internet. These are basically the setup steps for first time use. Or here is how to set it up after resetting it. Here are some notes when using the device. After a while, you should change your wireless password. Wireless. You change the password in the box named Password. After completing, click Save below. If the main router has the same IP address or you connect two TP links together, you should change the IP of this one. Advanced. Network. Change to another IP address. Make sure the two devices are different. For example, I change it to 192.168.100.1. Save. OK. Wait a moment for it to apply the changes. You will see an exclamation mark on the Wi-Fi icon. It indicates a network error because the IP address has changed. No internet connection. Back online. If you want to know if it has been changed, look at the IP address in the Wi-Fi section and you will know. Setting. Wi-Fi. This is the new IP address. 192.168.100.1 Login required because IP address changed. It prompts for account login for remote management. This is very convenient when you want to log in from anywhere, lock a device from anywhere. Clients. This is a list of devices connected to it. Device name, connection speed, connection band, bandwidth used. Cool.